Hello lovelies, it's Brianna. I'm sorry if this camera's at an awkward angle. I just tried to like readjust it. But it's, it's, I like need it to go like a quarter of an inch up so that my forehead is completely in. But when I do it, you'll see, watch. See, that just goes way too far up. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna leave it. So, today's video is going to be a first impressions video. Um, I've been doing a lot of those recently. But anyway, so I recently acquired a curling iron. Um, and so I obviously need a hairspray because you need hairspray when you curl your hair. But anyway, so I went to buy a new hairspray last night and while I was there, I noticed that there is a new one out from Garnier Fructis. And I, I was like, you know, I wanna try it. I almost went with my classic rave, you know, cause it's only a dollar or two dollars at Walmart, so super cheap, but this one, I was like, oh, it's so, it sounds so wonderful. So I got it anyway. So this is the Garnier Fructis new 48 hour ultra strong sheer set breathable hold hairspray that's a mouthful this is what it looks like so it is a number four on their one through five rating scale of hold it's ultra strong hold and the claim with this hairspray i'll just i'll just read it it says wish you could hold your style without masking it in crunchy stiffness Sheer Set is a micro diffusion, quick dry, breathable hold hairspray that provides 48 hour ultra strong hold with an invisible, lightweight, touchable finish. Your style stays true. So, what really caught my attention about this was the crunchy thing. I absolutely hate when you put hairspray in and your hair gets crunchy. I hate that feeling. Cannot stand it. It's one of the worst things ever. And I feel like a lot of times it translates like visibly. Like you can. T Maybe it's just me, but I, like, when I do my own hair, like, last time I curled my hair, it's, like, really, really well, and I hairsprayed it with my rave, like, I just felt like I could see the crunchiness. Without even touching, I could just tell that my hair looked crunchy, and I hate that. I mean, I think it makes it look really bad. So, I was like, all right, well, I'll try it, because I need a hairspray. I love the way the Garnier Fructis hairspray smelled. I don't think they smell, like, chemically or anything. They smell really nice and refreshing. So... That's another reason why I went with this one instead of Rave, because I prefer the smell of these. But, right off the bat, you guys, I do have some complaints. So, I put this hairspray in, and granted, and I didn't use a lot. Like, I did not use a lot. I did very light spritz, um, which is what I normally do, because that's, you know, what I have to do to try to avoid crunchiness. And I can totally feel the crunch. Is it less than a normal hairspray? Mm, it depends. Like, I feel like when I first put it in, it was definitely not. When I first sprayed my hair with this hairspray, it was just as crunchy as using any other hairspray. Um, however, now that it has set for about an, I want to say about an hour, because I recorded a few videos to my makeup and stuff, uh, the crunchiness has kind of faded. The hold is still the same. I don't think I've lost any curl yet. Um, but there, it's still there, you know? I can still feel the crunchiness. However, I don't think it necessarily looks crunchy. Um, I don't know. You guys will have to be the judge of that, to be honest. I don't think it looks crunchy too much. Definitely not as much as when I use a normal hairspray. Um, as far as hold is concerned, so far the hold on this has been pretty impressive. Normally I'll do my hair, I'll curl my hair, and I'll spray it with hairspray. And unless I use like the whole can, within a good 30 minutes, the curls have started to fall. These haven't. Now I know they kind of look like it, but that's just me being bad curling my hair. But I promise you, these have not fallen since I did it. So I'm going to take you guys through my day pretty much. I don't know if I'll take you guys through my day. I'm going to wear my hair like this for the rest of the day. It is, I'll check my it is currently a three, you can't see that, my phone is really dark. It is currently at 335. Can you see it now? Yes, you can. Um, I'm currently 335 and I am not gonna go out to eat tonight until, sorry, until like nine o'clock. That's when me and my hubby are going out on a date. So I, it'll, I'll, my hair is gonna be like this for a while. And because it is a 48 hour hold, or that is the claim, I'm not gonna wash my hair tonight. Um, I'm gonna sleep in my curls and see how they hold up in the morning. So I will check in with you guys tonight, or if at any point, like there's a drastic change, I'll check in with you guys then. But I'm gonna check in with you guys again tonight, and then, um, Okay guys, Tomorrow, so this awesome. is going to be my quick update for the night. Sorry the lighting is so terrible. Super, super laid out. So this is the, this is how my hair is held up throughout the day. Um, 
it is currently a little almost 10 o'clock if not a little bit after 10 o'clock um i don't have a clock in here but uh, we just got home from going out to eat and i did my hair earlier i think i told you guys it was like three something when i was showing you guys my hair and there's definitely like i can definitely say that the curls have fallen uh, like significantly so however they still look decent um so so far obviously the hold is not giving me 48 hour hold obviously because they have fallen already but like i said i'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow after i get up um and we'll see how they look then but yeah i just wanted to stop by and let you guys see see what we're dealing with but anyway so i'll hey see guys, you guys so this is gonna be my final check-in um on this product and right off the bat we are looking crazy i did try to comb through the top of my hair trying to avoid the curls as much as possible to you know knock down some of the craziness but as you can see the curls did not hold um they've fallen a lot they're more waves now than they are curls um so the hairspray definitely did not hold for a full 48 hours now does it work better than a cheaper hairspray no i think it works just as well as any other hairspray you're gonna buy so if you like i know i mentioned earlier that like i used to buy rave because rave is like two dollars a can and it's really cheap and i think that this works just as well as rave um as far as the crunchiness is concerned like i said yesterday like the longer it sits in your hair the less of that crunchy feeling you get like now today i don't feel it at all but at the same time like it the hold is pretty much gone so i don't i think it's a little gimmicky to be honest i think like if you like garnier fructis hairsprays you like the way they smell and you don't mind like spending because this is five dollars for this um so if that's an okay thing price for you then yeah go ahead and get it it's gonna work just like any other hairspray so it's not that it doesn't work i just think it's a little gimmicky because it's not like it your hair is not going to be a little bit crunchy and also it doesn't hold doesn't have a strong hold for four for the full 48 hours um versus like some other hairspray like i could have put any hairspray in and got these same results you know the next day where the curls fell and they were slightly waves and even throughout the day like as far as like a couple hours later you know it still had the same hold effect as my rave that i normally use so i'm not saying it's a bad product i just think it is gimmicky it, like for me when i purchased it I, I purchased it over the rave because of the claim that your hair wouldn't be crunchy and it would hold for 48 hours that's why i purchased it and it was more expensive than the rave and i so i feel kind of gypped because it's you know it's it works just the same so if that's why you're thinking about purchasing this product then i would think twice about it you know all right that's gonna um, be it for me you guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below um i hope that you will subscribe if you'd like to see more from me i do try to put out a video every monday but anyway i hope you all have a wonderful beautiful blessed day and i will see you next week